I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased to be here. So thank you very much for um, coming to see a very um, short and an interesting story about Galan. And um, it's been two and a half years since I was here last. And uh, what I can tell you proudly is that that picture um, is is showing what our, our team has been able to accomplish. And those uh, that picture shows the evaporation um, ponds for our pilot plant. It's been a lot of work and done throughout COVID, and we've been able to deliver what we said we'll do. We're currently evaporating, and the I'm, I'm very pleased with the team that we have because um, um, otherwise there's no way that in a very short period of time uh, we will be telling this story. But um, importantly, um, Galan Lithium has got a very straightforward um, story. We are the, at the Ombre Muerto Salt Flat, and this is a picture that shows in there. And, I'm here for drinks uh, in case if uh, somebody wants to um, see me afterwards, but I'll, I'll be around for the next couple of days. Now, um, thanks. So, what are we doing? We, um, we're taking this company from an idea that I, I had four and a half years ago, and I need to also take my hat to my board, my management team, and my team in Argentina. I'm, I'm going to Argentina again on Wednesday, and that shows how committed we are. And that's a picture now with a bit of evaporation happening. But um, what do we want to do? Why it makes Galan Lithium different? And as you can see, the, um, this, um, we're doing evaporation. Most of the companies takes this uh, evaporation concentrate and takes that into the back end of a lithium carbonate plant. Um, we're not going to do that. We are planning to take our project in to produce just the lithium chloride concentrate. Why is this? Because we have a very good product. Our concentrate can uh, get rich to concentration of 6%. So in other words, if this was um, lithium oxide as what is coming from, from WA, we'll have around 13 or 14% lithium oxide. When you look what's coming out from WA, which is around 6%, uh, lithium oxide will have more than double our content in terms of what we could produce. But importantly, we can get to market in three years. Importantly, we need just 6% of the total capex to develop this. And importantly, we don't have to qualify our lithium carbonate to production. And how can we do this? Um, we can do this because we see a universe of around 11 companies that in three to five years, they're going to become lithium carbonate producers. So if this was copper, we'll be producing lithium concentrate or copper concentrate and we'll have nine to or eleven companies that'll be producing they'll have their own smelter. So why do we want to be smelter number twelve? So we want to walk before we run, we want to get to cash flow, we want to make this happen in the less risky way possible because mining it always comes with hiccups. This is the most straightforward way that we see that we can apply to. So if this in other words, what we're trying to do is apply what is work for so many Australian companies and um, look at Pilver Minerals, you know, they produce lithium concentrate. So why do we need to reinvent the wheel, trying to be another carbon producer, number 12, in the area? We can start um, just producing lithium um, chloride concentrate. So just with that theme, all I can show you, you know, about our company, what we're doing. Um, we got. Um, we got the money to do all the studies we've got. Um, we are taking Ombre Morto West, which is our flagship project, into a feasibility study. We're doing this with Hatch Engineering, and we got approximately close to $60 million in the bank. So um, that means that we can do all the uh, feasibility that we expect to have Q4 this year or Q1 next year. Plus the same development for our next project at the same salt flat, which is called Candelas and plus any exploration that we can put into our Western Australian uh, exploration grant at south of the Greenbushes mine, which is the uh, Greenbushes joint ventures. So um, we have, in since um, September 2017, when I had an idea and quitting my job as an analyst and doing putting all on the line, we, we've been successful at finding two lithium deposits at the best salt flat in Argentina, we're taking now this into a feasibility, and we expect to be, as mentioned early on, to be in production in three years. What does it mean? The studies for this year, next year, we're going to be um, getting the permits. Um, hopefully, and it looks like we get funding. 
Thereafter, we'll start construction in the second half of next year. So 2024, uh, 2023 and 2024 is about construction, then evaporation, and then 2025 will be producing lithium chloride concentrate. So um, pretty much we have the best of flat in, in, we are the best of flat in operation in Argentina. The economics, you know, needless to say, we did our study with $18,500 a, um, a ton. The current price is around $70,000 a ton. If you look now at what um, SQM put the, the other day in terms of the contracts, they're half the price. The economics as a stand, the payback is less than three years. If we use uh, contracts from SQM, our payback is less than 18 months. It's ridiculous money. I mean, it's, there's a reason why Elon Musk said, if you get into lithium, you start printing money. And it's, it's not a joke on that, it's quite serious. We believe that we can be in operation very quickly. Um, and we have a really strong team. Um, I will say that we have a lot of people from SQM that they got experience also with Ave Mali. These are people that have done it before. You know, we're not just another WA um, company trying to become a producer. We've never done it before. We have uh, people that have been in the industry for a number of years, um, and then uh, the um, and uh, we just got a geology manager that is a hydrogeologist, XSQM. You know, I couldn't be happy with that, the the new addition to our team. So um, this is a map of the Ombre Muerto salt flat, just to give you an idea where we are. To the west, you see Ombre Muerto West. Next to it, Livend. Livend has been producing lithium carbonate for around 28 years. And we believe that we're not reinventing the wheel in terms of the chemistry. If you look then to the northeast, you got POSCO, and then all came, and south of that, we got the Candelas project. Now, 30 years ago, when there was no lithium boom or anything, Livend or FMG at the time, and they decided to you know, start operations from there. They look at every salt flat in, in Argentina. And this is, um, you know, um, you can download this presentation uh, online and see all details. But uh, what it tells is that Ombre Muerto West, so Ombre Muerto is the best salt flat in Argentina because it's got a combination of high grade and low impurities. Uh, it is not coincidence that 25 years down the track, Bosco purchased the northern part of, from Galaxy, which is all came now, from um, the same salt flat at $280 million. That today seems like peanuts. It's, um, it's quite interesting how things change so dramatically. And these are the uh, compelling economics about our project. And um, just needless to say, the payback, um, we are advancing our operation very quickly. Uh, this is our second project, Candelas, and, and again, strong economics. And so this picture tells you, if we sink the money, this is where we're going to be. So. This, the important thing to look at is that we want to get to market as soon as we can. A simple story, concentrate. Once we sink our capex, then we decide what to do, whether we produce carbonate or hydroxide. And importantly, um, this solution has got a very low ESG, and uh, the carbon footprint is quite small. And then we believe that we can de uh, deliver in, in our, all, the, all the targets that we set up for the year. And, what I would like to highlight is that in our board, we got Daniel Jimenez. He worked for 28 years at SQM, Senior Vice President of Commercial. So he's got a really good book about who's who in the lithium suit. And uh, we are advancing very rapidly with what we do. And that's, sorry, that's um, our project in, in Greenbushes in, in, uh, in WA. But um, just to summarize, high grade, low impurities, going to concentrate, be a producer in three years. We got the money now to do all the um, uh, studies and we need to start construction um, sometime next year. We expect to have the permits by then. And um, please um, join us and at, uh, after drinks if you got any further questions. Thank you. <laughs>